Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Sit down as one that is in charge. Amen. Amen. I want to speak very briefly on an important topic. Focus on your vision. Everybody born into this world that wants to be great must have a vision. Prosperity without a vision is a waste of time. Because if it comes to you and there is no vision, it will go. Focus on your vision. Vision is a fundamental retirement for all achievers, world changers, great men and women. Focus on your vision. There is something you are doing and there is something I'm doing. When your own is not moving, don't look at my own. I want to leave that thing you are convinced that God wants you to do. Except you are sure it's God that says you should live. World changers are focused visionaries. Great men and women are focused visionaries. You may not see results from the beginning, but be focused. Be focused. You got a word from the Lord and you stayed with it. You got a direct word that this is what you should do. You stay with it. No matter the obstacle, no matter what you're facing, that's what they call being focused on your vision. Focused visionaries are great men and women. It doesn't matter whether you're working as a cleaner. It doesn't matter whether you're working as a gate man. It doesn't matter what you're working as now. If you are focused, you'll get there. I say if you're focused, you'll get there. Just be focused. It will speak. If it is God, it will speak. And when it is time, you will get it. And I strongly believe that after this morning, that vision will begin to work in your life in Jesus' name. I say it will begin to work in your life in Jesus' name. If you believe that, let that amen be very loud. Let the amen be very loud. We have so many hit and run visionaries. So many hit and run. We have so many hit and run visionaries. They got it, it's not working, they run to another one. They got this, it's not working, they run to this one. Even as pastors, we have so many hit and run pastors. They try this place, it's not working, they run here. They try here, it's not working, they go here. Businessmen and women, they try this, it's not working, they go. In one month, they've been to seven businesses. It's not as if this one is making progress and they want to add another one and add another one and add. But I'm talking about they are not patient. They try one week, it's not working. They say, this is not it. They run to another one. They try another one, it's not working. They run to another one. So many hit and run visionaries. They got it, it's not working. They run to this one. You know what, what Paul said? This one thing. Paul said, this one thing. There is always one thing to focus on. There is one thing to focus on. It is men of one thing that change their environment, change their world, that change things around them. Men of one thing. Many years ago, when we began to preach, we head onto the Bible with obstacles, mistakes, with ones we are getting, the ones we are not getting, the rising, the making mistakes, the moving. We were focused. When we meet obstacles, we still cross. Where we fall, we stand up and continue. And we are going, we are focused. We are focused. But some people will try six months and say, no, 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 let me change business, let me change another one. Then you are not sure that God called you. Men of great achievement are men of one thing. Men of one thing. It is men of one thing. You got it from the Lord. You stay with it and it will stick. It will surely stick. You stay with it until it sticks. You stay with it until it sticks. I don't know what you're doing now. You're confused whether you should go ahead. All you need is counseling. If it's God, stay with it. It will speak. John chapter 18 verse 37. 
John chapter 18, even Jesus Christ, our Savior, had something he came for. John chapter 18, verse 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are thou a king then? Jesus answered, That says that I am a king. To this end was I born. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth he heareth my voice. He came for one thing. This is why he came. They wanted to make him king, he ran. Because it was against what he came for. When they wanted to make him king, he ran. It was against what he came for. He knew what he came for. He focused on what he came for. Until there was a result. When they came to make him king, he fled. He fled. Since it is God, stay there. Whether it is working or not, at the end, he shall speak. If it is God, stay there. Whether it is working or not, at the end, he shall speak. Hear this. No vision speaks from the beginning. No vision speaks from the beginning. If your child wants to be a medical doctor, the child has to be patient to go to nursery school. You can't give syringe and everything to the child to begin to inject people. The child has to go to nursery school. After that, secondary school, then college. Before the child will qualify. The child will qualify to be what? A medical doctor before you and I will allow the child to inject us. But the vision began when the child was small. Maybe in primary school or secondary school or when the child was born. Or you had a vision for the child. No matter how you love your child and want a child to be a doctor, you can't give your child the authority to begin to inject people. Your child must pass through the training, patience. But at the end, it shall speak. But not everybody that has a vision will conclude. Most people that had a vision will stop on the way. When I was doing my doctorate program in the field where we went, all of us that began, we drew. I was the only one that did it to the end. It was not easy. At the time, it was pushing me to withdraw. But one man encouraged me. He said, stay, stay. And I stayed. I pray for you in a name that is above all names. This morning, that vision will speak in your life. I said, that vision will speak in your life. If you are a child, we wait from that stage till how many years before becoming a doctor? You can wait. I said, you can wait. And it will speak. He says, write the vision. Make it plain upon the table. Write the vision. Do you know why he said, make it plain? Because it will speak tomorrow. It may not be now. Write the vision. Make it plain. It will speak. He says, though it tarries, it will surely speak. Though it tarries, it will surely speak. Write the vision. Make it plain. Though it tarries, it will surely speak speak if god gives you the vision write it i got a vision several years ago that we are going to build a cathedral we're going to build church, two churches at the same time it was supposed to be one but we tried to make it two this one and this one and we're going to leave this small place where we were to come to this place and this place was like a canal this place was like a canal and when god gave me the vision they were going to build it in one year, eight months. One year, eight months. What the church had in the account was less than 20,000, about 15,000 naira. And we are about horror or something. Steady members. About horror or something. And we had about 15,000 naira in church account, less than 20,000. And God gave me a vision we're going to build only to get the water log in the pile. You'll be sure of some millions. How will it come to pie this place? And, and I added another one, the back one. To pie the two at the same time. To build the two, to roof, paint, and pack in the same time in one year, eight months. How? Even the local government here, they came. When we did the planning, they began to tell us how much they have been buried in this place. How much? Everybody around, even pastors, did not believe. Most people did not believe. People said, how would this happen? And some people, more cast, were going about laughing at us. Look at this church. Look at this small church. Going to put hand in what they cannot do. Even some people in the church ran away. How would this be possible? Where would the money come from? The church had less than 20,000. 15,000 account. But there were some pillars. Some pillars who were seeing what we were seeing. We were seeing what we were seeing in a year and eight months. That was the vision. And I came to the pulpit and declared, one year, eight months, we shall pack in. They look at this man. <laughs> Our pastor is mad now. 
He's, he has mental problem. One year, eight months, how? From who? And they look around the church and say, from who? When God wants to do something, write it down. Though it tarries, it must surely come. The vision is for an appointed time. But when it was time, that time, looking around, there was nothing. Nothing. We waited. The moment God said it was time, we came into this place. We are passing. We saw somebody trying to build somewhere. We called the person and said, can you do something for us just to build something? And the person came in to do something. And God gave us another person that said, if you want pilot, we'll be better than this one. Pilot will be better. Why not do pilot? It wasn't a plan. Why not do pilot? We said, okay, we'll do pilot. Pilot with what money? And when he came here, he said, I said, go ahead. I'll give you the money. No problem. Go ahead. I was speaking with no cover. And I was speaking authoritatively with no cover. I said, do it. He said, this one, this one, this one. Calculated the piling point. The man began to add more piling point to make more money. I said, money is not a problem. Go ahead and do it. Money is not a problem. And he was doing, doing. By the time he was doing it, he told me another. I said, go ahead. Make it the best. The money is not a problem. I have more than enough in the account. Which account? God's account. God's account. I have more than enough. More than enough. And I told him, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And he was doing it. As for doing it, God was supplying. Strangely, miraculously, God was supplying. And they finished. When it came to the, the capping, it came to the joining them together and the German floor. And they mentioned their amount. And as we were doing it, it was coming. 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 When we went to put the doors of the church, when we finished everything, we got to this stage and it stopped. And they said, hey, hey, let them go and do the it. Dicky is the main thing. Let them take here and take here. And God miraculously supplied me money. And I told my wife, this money God gave to us. Let two of us use it and do the decking. And I did the decking of here and here with my wife. And we built it to that level without asking the church. We did the decking of the two places and built it to the level of roofing. Then the church came in again. When it was roofing, a man I prayed for, a man I prayed for many years ago, said, I learned to build the church. I will do the roof. And he did, he supplied the roofing sheet supplied everything the roofing sheet and a member of the church did the roof in that place when it was time for door i'm telling you wanted to buy ordinary door one of us here said no 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 no. we'll get the best he came with us went there and got the best exactly one year eight months we painted and packing exactly one year eight months that is what they call being focused on your vision one year eight months today i'm going to speak into your life i'm going to speak into your life i prophesy all the doors that closed against you shall open i open great channel for you i open great channel for you i put laughter in your mouth i put laughter in your mouth i put joy in your mouth i put joy in your mouth i put testimony in your mouth i put testimony in your mouth I put the somebody in your mouth. If you really say that's my portion, you are going to be focused. Anointed to be focused is coming upon you. Anointed to be focused is coming upon you. No matter what you are doing, no matter how little, no matter how little it is, in a name that is above on them, it shall prosper. It shall succeed. And if you are in the wrong thing, God will bring you out and put you in the right one now. And if the one you are doing, you are discouraged already, don't worry. After this morning, focus on it. New ideas will come. And you make it in that same thing you have been doing. You make it in that same thing you have been doing. You think there is no road there. But other people are seeing road in the same thing. And you think there is no road. Today, God will remove what is covering your eyes. And you see opportunity. Favor will be a passion. People will look at you. If you will shout at me loud. Until you have Christ in your life, no matter your excellent record and success, you are a vanity. Therefore, pray this prayer aloud in order to be saved. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died to save me and you were raised up from the dead. Dear Jesus, Come and live in my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am now born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come worship with us at Royal Choice Ministries, number 10, Alaito Ishinoga Street, of Agboyu Road, Alakwere Kitu, Lagos State, Nigeria. 
Thank you for watching and remain blessed.